Hey guys, this is tutorial number one for Silent Stop Point 2. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you guys how to do a schematic for your logic. So, let me go ahead and get started. The first thing you do is go to the top left corner, click on File, New Project. Once the, this window opens, you go ahead and name your project. I'm going to name my project hmm, Test. So, then after Naming it, you choose your location. Uh, my location, I left it as documents, so you guys get to choose where you guys want it. And then click next. Then my board is the Spartan 3E, so my values are these. I am assuming that for most of you, or all of you, you are using the same board as I am, so it is the Spartan 3E as well. So go ahead and leave the values as change them to these values if you don't have them as that values uh, the bottom part you just leave it that is you don't have to change it then click next and finish okay then go to your top left corner click on this then right click on it choose a new source to add a new source which will be the schematic click on schematic Name your schematic. Uh, I'm going to name it logic. So that's my logic. Uh, and then click next and then finish. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do just for the purpose of showing you guys uh, my function or my logic is to make a comment. So my function is this right here. I'm going to hit and go. You zoom in, you go to the top, this tool you can use them to zoom in and other things too. So I'm going to zoom in, and this is my function. And the next thing I'm going to do is click on symbols on the bottom left corner. Click on symbols, and this will give you the gates that you're allowed to use. Or more, to be more clear on it, is the gates that Silence already has, that come with the package of Silence. So there's different gates like AND gates, OR gates, carry, logic. Uh, you can make your own, but I will show you that in another tutorial than on this one. So the first thing I need is an AND gate with three inputs. As you can see right here, this is my AND gate with three inputs. So I'm going to go ahead and type AND and then three for three inputs. And then I need two inverters. So I'm gonna put end. As you get used to it, you'll know that how silence labels their, their gates. But it's just, you just have to practice with it. I'm gonna need another inverter. I need two inverters because I have uh, two knotted gates here. The Y and the Z. So now I need an OR gate with two inputs. And let me build this. I'll explain to you guys if I have enough time how, how it works or how it's built by looking at the equation with the function. So the thing you do is choose. It's telling me I wasn't in it, I didn't connect it. So let me go ahead and reconnect. Okay, so this tool that I just clicked on is to add wires. You have to add wires to inputs, outputs, and to connect gates. So right now I'm adding input wires. And the ones I added right here were to connect the gates. And that's another input wire right here. And I'm connecting these to the Z. Okay. Oh, and you also need for output, so don't forget to output. Okay, now you're gonna use the output, the output and input markers to label your inputs and outputs. It was telling me again, I did not click on it. Okay, so this, I'm gonna click on it again to add them. And click on it. So on the, this left side, they're just for you to choose if you just want to want to put inputs or you just want to put outputs 
or by the retinals or automatic will do inputs and outputs. You just have to click on the little red box. Now we're going to go ahead and choose this tool which is a select tool. We're going to double click on it and we're going to choose next to change the name because my inputs are called X, Y, Z. So this is my X input. Click OK. And then click here again. Put my Y input. Click OK. And again. My Z, um, my Z input. So then I'll click OK again. And now as you can see I need my output. My output is the F because it's the function. These are my inputs. My Y, Z. X, Y, Z. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Click over here again on the next. And then click F. And that should do it for the inputs and outputs. So let me explain it to you. These X, Y, Z are these inputs right here. And then you see the X comes in through here. This here is an AND gate because they're all being ANDed. So the X, the Y is being inverted, as you can see with that. The Z comes in through here. And is ORed with Z prime. So I'm just using the Z coming through here and inverting it. Feeding it to the ORed. And that's getting my book. So you go ahead and save it. Make sure you guys save as much as possible. Because if, it, if the program, program happens to crash, you guys are going to lose your work. So then after finishing, you can you just go ahead, click on this arrow to go to the main, to the design. And then make sure this that your schematic is highlighted and go ahead and synthesize. And it should give you a green check if you guys did it correctly. I'm just showing you guys up here. It takes a while so you guys can... Well, it doesn't take that long, but it depends on the circuit or the logic. So as you can see, uh, my circuit is correct. And that's it for you guys. Thank you guys. And good luck.